All right, welcome back to Fierce Network's coverage here at MWC Barcelona 25. And I find myself in what must be one of the most hopping and busy stands that we've seen all week. I'm here with Amdocs. We're going to talk about network automation. Nir, welcome. How are you doing? Hi. Good, good. Thank you. Excellent. Good you. All right, why don't you tell us a little bit about your um, network automation story yeah. from Amdocs point of view? Yeah, so uh, we had a long journey, or we still have a long journey with network automation. In my division, running the uh, mobile network uh, services division, we are investing in this for a long period of time. We are focusing mainly on automation of the run, and uh, it's both for the traditional run and also for the open run, when it comes to open run. Uh, one of the major things that we actually announced in the last couple of days is uh, uh, the announcement about the new platform, a new solution that we actually created. Uh, that is called CRA. It's a cognitive uh, run uh, automation, which is a solution to provide our customers uh, close to a platform to run uh, automation, both for the traditional run and for the open run when it's applicable, because we see a journey towards open run. We see that many of our customers are going to this direction. And uh, this is, in a way, a solution that we built uh, for a non-real-time brick that we call CRA. And it's, uh, we've been doing it by leveraging open source code as well as uh, AI and ML capabilities. And uh, we launched it two days ago, something like that, uh, just for MWC. And uh, it provides uh, automation capabilities. It, it comes also with uh, several apps that we already developed around uh, energy saving, around uh, massive MIMO. Um, and around the uh, cell uh, outage uh, capabilities. Uh, these are three apps that we actually got a silver badge award by TIP. TIP is a, an organization or a, a group that we are working with for the last several years. And uh, we are uh, doing stuff with them in the, for example, in the UK and in other places. And uh, we got a silver badge for uh, energy saving app just uh, actually today or, or last week, uh, late last week. So this is how we started. We continue evolving and we continue developing more apps and more automation capabilities for, uh, for both traditional run and the open run. And as I said, very busy stand. Can you give us a very quick snapshot of what are some of the things that you're showing here at Barcelona? Yeah, so we are showing uh, many things. You can see the nice smiley <laughs> uh, emoji. And uh, behind me, we are also showing, I'm not sure that it's showing now, the, the theme of the event is around uh, redefining uh, the industry and also being the experience and uh, a lot of focus around Gen AI and AI. So one of the things that we developed is a digital twin of the network, of the mobile network, working with NVIDIA, uh, working with the Omniverse, and we have now capabilities to show or to mimic a mobile network as part of a 3D digital twin and also run different use cases. One of them, for example, is uh, if you need to simulate different network scenarios or one, when you want to roll out where is the best place and how to do it, fixed wireless access or for any other things. And uh, uh, this is something that we show here behind me, uh, which is uh, in the booth. And uh, as you can see, we have a lot of visitors and traction in the booth, in the, in the stand. I think it's quite, uh, quite significant. And um, I wanted to ask you very briefly around Open RAN, obviously a huge topic. How is everything you're showing here linked to that? Uh, Open RAN is an evolution of the traditional network, traditional RAN. And we see customers that are going towards this, uh, this direction, uh, be it AT&T that is, uh, <coughs> is going to this direction, and uh, 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 Vodafone and, uh, and many others. Um, Open RAN can be used, or we can use our, our solution also to automate scenarios on the open run network, where you require uh, more integration, where you require many more vendors, when you have to, our customers have to reduce cost uh, dramatically. We know that our customers are planning and are strategizing in our, about open run. At the same time, we also know that many of our customers do not have automation when it comes to open run. So we see the evolution, we see that customers are going to this direction, we want to be part of it. The non-real-time RIC and the Arabs that we develop are another tool for them to automate the different scenarios and the different use cases on the Open RAN network. And we, as a, as a global SI, can also help them in doing many other things related to the Open RAN. Awesome. 
Uh, to close out, any word of advice to customers or partners that are here in Barcelona and watching at home? Uh, mainly, Gen AI and AI and automation is here. It's uh, happening much faster than we even think. Uh, you have to be there in order not to stay behind. So uh, you can't ignore it, that's for sure. In order to be ahead of the curve, you're, you can come to us and see what else we can help you with in terms of services, in terms of product, uh, on traditional run, on open run, and uh, good luck to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Nir. Thank you.